Last time on Let's Play Metro Prime 2 Echoes. Many forms of light and dark conflicting with each other. And now we've had the dark beam. So naturally, the counterpart to that is the light beam. And it was a trap. The Ying aren't going to let us have it that easily. Actually, you may notice this bit looks very much like one of the demo movies that plays in the opening. And finally, that is it. And we can finally claim the prize we've been seeking all this time. So, we've seen most of Aegon Waste, but we've hardly seen all of it yet. See you guys next time. Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Metro Prime 2 Echoes. Quick note, there's going to be no story progress whatsoever in this episode because we're going to go around Aegon Wastes and find all the power-ups that we can now obtain with the newly acquired items. So there'll be a lot of jump cuts around the place. I will, however, try to make it clear where exactly we are going. So, without further ado, let's do our first jump cut to the first power-up to obtain in this episode. Okay, so the first place I want to go is through this door we can get to room 4, but now that we have the light beam, we can get through this place and bridge the other side. This is the bridge above where we have first snuck into the space pirate base, and we find ourselves able to... What is this? Heavy turret active. Walk into hologram to enter heavy turret. Actually, this brings up something I want to mention. You know this game has multiplayer? Well, in many rounds of playing the multiplayer, one of the maps in it, I just simply remember having one of these, and the multiplayer matches became who could get in the turret and destroy the other person as soon as possible. That, that's basically how that map revolves around, and I think it's one of the more played maps. I think it's one of my favourites of, of them, actually. So, um, if you look here, we've got a few things we can scan, like this pirate skiff. Strike class assault skiff, light attack craft from troop transport. Vehicles and arms, but heavily armoured. Eliminate troops if possible before they disperse. So, we saw the, the pirates were coming in on this earlier, but thankfully that was not a one-time scan. We can pick up this up later on by coming back to this area. Plans for the strike were recently stolen from a GF lab by the space pirates. Production began immediately, and the fast-moving skiff is now part of most pirate operations. It is used primarily as a troop transport, taking a fire team of troopers into action. The Shrike is unarmed, relying on the troops it carries for protection against hostile forces. So there is a power-up that we want to get in here, which is why I came all the way back to this location. What you want to do is hop into this. But first of all, I want to make sure if we can scan something like this to see if there's anything logbook wise we might be missing. So yeah, if you can probably guess from this, what we want to do is huff in the turrets, fire the turrets at this here. I wasn't quite sure how it was going to work on we. I was wondering maybe you could actually point it at it. But yeah, we need to destroy things that are blocking the way. The solar and oh, the space pirates don't like this. So switch to our dark beam. Dark beam very effective against space pirates, well, the normal versions. Unfortunately, the Dark Beam is so slow moving that the pirates seem to be able to avoid it easily. That's a slight concern. Light Beam is probably better for that sort of thing in that instance, but hey, when I view that the Dark Beam is the most effective weapon damage wise against the pirates, so we might as well use it. Okay, now we've gone that. Let's um, break this down again, destroy some stuff that might be in our way. This turret is very powerful, but there's a lot. We want to destroy the skiffs over here. I said we want to destroy the skiffs over here, and there must be some way to do this. There, that's better. That allows us to get up through there. But we'll call that to create a path through and get over to the other side. So now that we've done that, let's um, drop. Alright, actually, can we use this to get in here on under? Maybe that will help. Uh, 
that wall looks a bit cracked. Can... Oh yeah, we need to, to blow that part open in order to get the power up that we're after. So, use this skip here. It creates a platform which we can space jump up to here. Walk across this way. And we have some pirate data here. A never hunter wearing the traditional colors of Samasaran made plant for today. Horrific as it may sound, there are now two of them now. We're bracing for a new assault. This dire turn of events may bear some goodwill. One of our scouts in Dark Ether saw a curious encounter. The Dark Hunter attacked the one clad of Samus near a phase on site. Perhaps they're not allies, but foes. Perhaps we can forge an alliance with the Dark Hunter. An exchange. Phasing for the head of our common enemy. I wonder where that will end up leading. Technical reports. The wind energy systems are online. I managed to build a modest supply of reserve power, but I doubt it will last. All these trips to the dark world are taking a huge toll on the energy supply. We'll see how we feel about these stupid expeditions when the cooling system shuts off and the power of the streams go offline. We'll continue onwards because we are here for the upgrade after all. And it's behind this shield. Space Pirate Defense Shield is active. Shield was taken from the wreckage of a Space Pirate Starship. It is impervious to your weaponry. That's why we needed to blow up this alcove here. Cuts almost the Wolf Ball. And there we have an upgrade. Something that's new to the series for this game. This is a Beam Arrow expansion. This is huge. You want to acquire these. There's one of these in each area and they increase your dark and light beam ammo by 50, making the beams far more usable. Oh, and don't forget, this guy is here. This is a very important scan. This is J Steele's Testament. Leave enough data with translators. My journey comes to an end. The thrice cursed Ing prepared an ambush of singular cunning in the mining station. They caught me in it like a necklite necro neophyte fresh from the trading halls. I have sent five score of their number to what a foul pit they call afterlife, but in vain. My life is extinguished. I say, we saw something like this in the temple grounds as well. These locations are pretty important. Go out here, and that was the main upgrade we wanted to get there. I'll see you back later when we get to the next upgrade. You may remember in the Dark World, we, in the room where we got the light beam, we never went to the equivalent in the light world. And we couldn't actually get to there before now. So if we go back here and try to avoid damage from the lasers, we can enter the room where we found all the Metroids. And oh no, they've broken out. It was like we had to fight the Metroids. With Metroids, what you want to do is use the dark beam against them. When you face a Metroid like this, it just not going to out. Then it'll destroy itself like that. Is that Metroid seriously glitched on the scenery? Okay, if a Metroid grabs you... I said if a Metroid grabs you... Come on! If a Metroid grabs you, it'll try and drain your life. If that happens, transform them into the Morph Ball and use a bomb to break them off. This Metroid is still on me now! Right. So, the usual strategy is to use a dark beam on Metroids and then fire a missile at them to kill them. That should be the easy way to do it. What we're really in here for is to go up this way. This door we couldn't get to before because it required the dark beam. But now we have the dark beam. Let's open this door. And here we have a missile expansion. So we're up to 35 maximum missiles now, this should stand us in good stead for the upcoming boss battle, but I think there are a few more upgrades we can get before we can really think about going towards Dark Aegon Temple. So I will see you somewhere else where I want, well, we'll find our next upgrades. Okay, we are back here in the room with the Denzium Wall. Why am I here, you may ask? This is actually on our way back from the Space Pirate base back towards our destination of Dark Aegon Temple. I wanted to go this way though, just to go down this alleyway, which we never went to before. 
as I accidentally trudged through the phase on. We have this white door here that we couldn't go through before, but now we have the light beam, we can go through here, and we have something new. This is an ammo station. Step in these stations to get a full supply of ammo weapons. If you're ever running low on missiles or light or dark beam ammo, just come to one of these and you'll get the full stock back. Okay, back to hunting upgrades. We're actually going to keep the video as is because the next upgrades I want to try and find out are actually on a one path back towards where we need to go. So if we open this portal and return to the light world. Well, I show off some locations of some power ups, but I think. Some we may not be able to get without certain upgrades. So we jump down into the room where we fought Dark Samus. Uh, we even get through there? Yeah. Oh, we have a um, Luminoth lore here though. Beastle's Testament. Data transfer to your book for further review. I go no further. Here in this reactor, I go to join my fallen mates just steal and final rest. Though I die with honour, a shame falls on my house until I key out thy seat reaches its destination. May my brothers find my burden, that the way to the Sky Temple will be opened at last. Sky Temple, eh? So, I wanted to check here because... There is a route from here to get back to the previous location, but I'm not quite sure if we can actually take it or not. Okay, it looks like I am actually misremembering. It turns out we could actually get through this route yet because it requires a power up that we do not yet have. So I am going to have to meet you back in a different location, but we will still go after those particular power ups because we can get to the other location. So see you guys later. Okay, so we're back in Aegon Temple and we're on the right hand side of the temple from where we fought the Bond Guardian. You remember this door we saw before? This is where I was eventually hoping that the space pirate base would lead us back out to, but as it turns out, my memory is a bit incorrect on that point. I forgot we didn't have the upgrade we needed to get through it. So, if we go through this door now and we'll go through the kinetic orb cannon, this will fire us through the hoop all the way to the other side, and likewise, we can go back the other way if needs be. So, this is a brand new area we, we've never been to yet. If we look at our map, this is the Sand Canyon. The upgrade we're trying to get is in this narrow passage here. So you need to turn to a morph ball as you might expect. And uh, we have got a few pill bugs to deal with. Bomb those to destroy them. And now what we're trying to do is um, head up that way. No, not through the um, other morph ball tunnel. We can't actually do anything about that until much later in the game. But what you want to do now is going to use bomb jump. So remember to use bomb jump, you bomb. Bomb just as you're jumping, and then you'll be able to get enough height to move up there. Although in this instance, that wasn't quite the case. Let's try the other side. Bomb jumps are a skill you need to get down, but I'm apparently doing them while talking messes up my timing. There we go, that's better. Right, so it's a very simple missile expansion to get. You can see it right up there. easily pick up and we've effectively done all we can here. We'll a few sand blocks to go through here. If you try to go through here, we will enter a section that, well, we can progress through here, I suppose, but I don't really know how far we can go. Let's see how far we can get. Ah, yeah. This way forward is locked by a door we cannot break down. So unsurprisingly, we won't be able to get back there for a very long time. Enjoy that pill bug there. So, what we want to do now is go over this way because there's one more upgrade, uh, there's two upgrades we can get before we take on the um, Aegon Temple in the Dark World. 
One of them is through this way, and if I recall correctly, it was particularly annoying to have to try and obtain. Switch back to the light beam to open this door. Turn to the morph ball to roll away quickly through here. If we go over this side, we know never bombed this section, but you can bomb it through Telluric Alloy. And we're now on the left hand side in the um, in the uh, dark world, this is where one of the keys was kept. In the light world, this is a much more expansive room. You hear it, don't you? There is an upgrade in this room that is one of big interests, but I remember this one was being particularly difficult to get. There is there is an energy tank, but how do you get to it? Let's see if we can find how to reach it. What we want to do is obviously How did you get to this thing? I believe, I believe it was something like you have to. Okay, there's a there's a, a there's a path up here clearly. I think we want to try and head into there. But is do we have enough height to get into it? Hmm. This. Path is relatively straightforward just to get through to the other side, but we cannot go any further than this pathway, and the reason is What is this? We have never seen this door before. There's a blast shield on the door blocking access. And as this indicates that the blast shield is powered by five near energy pods nearby. Hmm. Probably want to figure out, see that for later, but for now we got an energy tank to try to obtain. Now, I'm trying to remember how you obtain this. How are you supposed to obtain this? It's a. Uh, I remember it being particularly tricky, that's all. The only clue I can find is that. Okay, right, we want to try and head up this way, I think. Ah, goodness sake. Right, okay. Come on! Samus! Samus! Come on! Cooperate for once! You know it's a bomb jump. Did it many years now. There we go. Right. So we can get up here. Right, well, yeah, what you want to do is hold down left. Otherwise, you will miss out on the opportunity to get this. Oh, for goodness sake, yeah. This is why it's tricky. So there's a very specific time you need to do in order to get to this power-up. It's a choice of the pill bugs to make it easier, but I think you can see which way we need to go. So, attempt number two at this. It'll be all worth it, don't we? I thought we know what we're getting now. We are trying to get ourselves an energy tank. And having, uh, let's don't forget that the energy tanks are worth a whole 100 energy. And the more we have, the better we are going to be in shape-wise going forward. Right, let's go through this way again. Hold left. Right, now, let's see if we can try to recall how to get through this part. Ah, okay. Come on, this is proving to be a bit frustrating, but I'm sure we can do it. Attempt number three. Right. So we need to make sure we get, get caught up by that sand trap again. No! Every single time! Come on! Right, come on! Come on! Apparently Morph Ball puzzles have been the hardest part of the game for me so far. I failed in the puzzle when trying to get into the dark world and I'm having a lot of difficulty with this thing here, but then again I knew this was going to be a particular challenge! 
the same pitfall every single time. Come on. I remember some parts of this game being very hard, but I didn't necessarily mean the multiple puzzles. There are some parts later on which I remember being a lot harder, being a lot more irritating. The multiple puzzles are apparently the hardest thing we've had to deal with so far. We haven't seen a single game over yet. Right, come on. Attempt number five, is it? Through here. Through here. Jump up here. Hard break here. We do not want to fall down here. Right, using that, that jump, we managed to make it up here. I think we're going to get the power up now. We have acquired ourselves an energy tank. Thank goodness for that. So, with um, our energy restored, I think it's now time we start to make our way towards Dark Aegon Temple. We have one more parrot to pick up along, along the way, but it should be very close to when we can finally say that we are ready to take on this temple. So, I shall see you guys back in the Dark World. Right, let's fight this thing. What we're going to be aiming for is that door back there. The black door, because obviously we can open that before, but now we have the dark beam, we have the means to open it. Okay, so now that those ink have been destroyed, we want to go through this way over to the dark door. Open it using the dark beam. Go inside. And we have an ingot to deal with here. Roast it with the light beam. Ink should be too hard to deal with to provide you've got enough light ammo, and we are starting to run a bit low on our light ammo. But yeah, this, we go straight forward along here. Down this passageway, this is the entrance to Aegon in the light world, but we cannot get past this area in the dark. Go to morphal mode here. There's nothing. So, if I recall correctly, there is something for us. Ah, there it is. That is what we've been seeking here. Here is our last upgrade for the episode, a missile expansion. But that's not all the rooms I want to visit before we go on to Aegon Temple. We have one more location I want to visit, so I will see you guys in a moment. Okay, back in the room where we fought the Space Jump Guardian, I'm going to travel up the staircase here, because there's one room we haven't actually been into in, in the Dark World off this route. This is obviously on the way to Dark Aegon Temple, but now that we have the space jump, we move along this way. We want to turn our back and find an area we haven't been to yet. If I can find where the actual door is. Should be around here somewhere. Ah, here it is. Okay, so we have a dark door we can open before. If we go into here, Oh hey, it's a save station. I think that's going to be where the episode ends. So, in this episode, we may not have made too much actual progress on the story for Metro Prime 2 Echoes, but we did collect a health hefty amount of new upgrades, including a new energy tank, several missile expansions, and extra beam ammunition. In the next episode of Metro Prime 2 Echoes, we will take on the Dark Aegon Temple and take our first steps towards saving planet Aoife.